What's your favorite thing about trolls? Oh, my Lanta. I just think my favorite thing about trolls is like the history of it. I mean, it's just like been around for so long and everybody knows it and loves it. And I love the music. I got to work with Amanda and Skylar on the TV show and it was so much freaking fun and like the best experience. And it was like my first big show to be on. So I have such great memories because they kind of taught me everything. I got to work with like legendary names, um, Kevin Michael Richardson and Tara Strong and for Skylar and Amanda. So I think it was like my amazing first experience, like coming into the voiceover. I hate to ask this question because this is your voice. But, you know, people say, how did you learn you could do this? Totally. No, it is so well. Actually, from Dennis Leary, I was on a pilot called Sex and Drugs and Rock and Roll on FX. And he was like, you sound like a rug rat. Like you need, because he does so many voiceovers. He's like, you need to do voiceovers. And from then I just kind of went to my agents and was like, okay, do you think this is something that I could be successful in, make money? Of course, because at the end of the day, it's, you know, as it is the love of my life, the arts, I was like, I got to provide for a family. So I was like, do you think this is something I could make money in? And so that's when it would kind of like all snowballed from there. And then now it's like, it's all I can imagine. Like I, I was had a C-section and I was on the floor of the hospital under the sink the next day like recording voiceovers. I mean, it's so like ingrained in me now that I just, I'm so thankful to be a part of it. So I really think because of that, he kind of had the idea. I grew up in a theater background, which I think helped a lot. Um, I wanted to be on SNL so bad. It's like Chris Farley, Molly Shannon, like the, oh, the, oh, I loved them so much. And that was when SNL did more of original characters. So I think that kind of set me up. It's like, I always was creating original characters and then Dennis Leary kind of, you know, hung the, what do you call it? Hung it above me being like, you could do this. And so I really am so grateful for it. For people who are actually looking to get into voice acting though, and don't know how to find the starting point, what do you, what's your advice to them? Totally. I would recommend getting a reel together, which is like all different segments of like animation voices or commercials. And you can find scripts like that free online. And then I would just start submitting yourself to like Actors Access, Voices.com. Um, there's so many programs out there to get your voice heard and classes, classes, classes. I think that is the key to everything. I um, got my huge agency in LA through a class. I am like the biggest believer in attending classes. And now so much of it's on Zoom. So you really don't have an excuse anymore that um, just get online and, you know, join all those studios and kind of start living in the world of it. It's like, it's not going to come to you. You have to go to them.